Hello friends, this is Durga again from Technology Mentor slash ITVersity and uh, as part of the current uh, series, I am talking about setting up uh, Hadoop cluster using Hortonworks distribution on virtual machines on a 16 GB laptop whether it is PC or Mac. So we have reached a uh, checkpoint as part of this. We have uh, uh, set up VM on our box uh, on our PC or Mac and uh, we um, we have created a template and using that template we have cloned four virtual machines we have installed certain prerequisites we have set up ssh on them we have enabled parallel ssh we have uh, set up yum repositories and uh, now we actually start building the cluster leveraging these four vms that are cloned from the base and uh, there could be some mistakes happen ha um, uh, caused by us because of typos or something and at times uh, it is always it could be better um, uh, restarting from scratch and uh, if you always restart from scratch and try to do all these things it will it can become counterproductive and you might be wasting time on unnecessary stuff so as part of that we need to identify checkpoints as per uh, uh, in our process if you are using AWS, you can create a, a, a template there also, template or uh, image, but it's expensive. So I don't recommend to do that in AWS. But if you are using your virtual machine, what you can do is you can actually stop all the VMs, create a zip of the entire directory because if you go to your my uh, VM console, we have created under directory called Hortonworks, uh, under folder called Hortonworks. And even in uh, um, the file system, I try to um, put all these four VMs in one directory uh, by name Hortonworks. So first thing you need to do is you need to stop these four VMs. So you can choose one, one at a time and uh, click on virtual machine if you are using Mac and uh, click on shutdown or you can also uh, right click on this. Okay, when you right click, it is not showing the option in Mac. I think in Windows, it used to show. So there is some difference between uh, user interface between uh, VMware Fusion for Mac and VMware Workstation for Windows. But uh, either on top, you might have the uh, virtual machine, um, which you can select. And here you can uh, click on shutdown. So the virtual machine uh, on my Mac is not visible because I I'm not recording that part. So, but you have to click on virtual machine on top and you can click on shutdown. And same thing you can do for all the VMs. Okay, I have shut down everything except HDP server because we it's better to delete the repository files we have downloaded. So we have copied our repository files to where www slash docs slash HTTP server itversity.com yum and if you look at ls minus ltr and if you run du minus sh d, uh, uh, du stands for disk usage and minus sh will give you the size of this directory in human readable format it's almost 9.5 gb and out of them 5 gb is just these tarballs and uh, we can delete these tarballs because we have already untarred uh, those uh, uh, and unzipped those and uh, created m repository against them so i am removing dot uh, uh, gz files so there are only three files and hit enter s s s you can give rm minus f if you want to delete all three in one shot without prompting now if you run du minus sh command it is only 4.8 db so just to reduce the size uh, of our backup i have uh, taken this additional step on hdp server before shutting it down now i can run init 0 to shut down and it will take a moment until it shuts down we will wait until it shut down completely So now I have gone to my path and uh, this is my path. You can see that I have uh, four VMs here. 
so what I will be doing is I will right click on this and uh, I will compress the entire HTB23 it will take a while because we are actually zipping almost 49 GB, GB worth of files and I, I, I will not recommend you to keep this 49 GB on your PC once you create the um, once you decide a checkpoint and once you create the zip file uh, just move away not copy but move away from your laptop into a external hard drive and if you run into any issues uh, delete the um, and delete the updated uh, sorry uh, actually you should not uh, uh, zip them directly like this what you have to do is uh, you have to create a copy of it and then zip it so that you have one snapshot on your PC and uh, other snapshot you can backup so in this case, uh, I think it. I will not wait until this 29 minutes. I will stop it. But uh, the idea is to create a copy of the existing directory which have all the four uh, VMs, um, uh, so that you have the checkpoint uh, backed up, or snapshot backed up, and uh, uh, back up into an external hard drive. And if you run into any issues um, after uh, uh, while executing further steps, you can delete it from your PC copy the backup from your external hard drive to your PC and you have the cluster wherever you, uh, you feel comfortable. So probably for the first time you have to make multiple snapshots to uh, save your valuable time. Over time it might not even uh, necessary if you become good at, at it. But at the beginning I will highly recommend to decide on checkpoints and uh, this is one checkpoint wh while setting up the um, uh, Hadoop cluster after setting up all the uh, prerequisites and um, uh, set up yum repository passwordless login all those things create a checkpoint back it up before installing anything so that being said um, I will uh, stop here um, I will uh, so I'm stopping uh, I will stop the backup after I stop this video recording uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will come to know a lot of content over time um, uh, uh, be it uh, hot and works distribution of Hadoop, Claudia distribution of Hadoop, Mapper, uh, Cassandra, MongoDB um, I will start talking anything uh, uh, that you are interested in once I uh, my user base increases I might take surveys uh, at regular intervals on what topics they uh, they want me to talk and I will decide content on top of uh, uh, on that. So please subscribe to my channel. Uh, subscribe to my channel uh, to learn more and more stuff. If you have not done yet, and if you like any of these videos, please click on like button and uh, feel free to comment or uh, uh, post questions in the comment section of the respective videos. Thank you. Bye.